Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Lainey. Today I wanted to show you guys how to style my 2021 fall trends that I'm loving recently. I wouldn't really call these predictions because I think they're already kind of making their way into fashion right now. And before we get into the outfits, I wanted to say thank you so much to Later for sponsoring this video. Let's get into that. I thought this would be the perfect sponsorship for you guys. I know so many of you are already into fashion and sharing your style online. I want to help you guys grow your following and make it so you can get everything social media has to offer when it comes to sharing your style like I do online. Later helps streamline your social media strategies so you can set yourself up for more success. Their goal is to simplify Instagram marketing and make it accessible to businesses of all sizes individuals and solopreneurs later includes features like visual scheduling media management marketing and analytics but my favorite feature that honestly has changed my game is the industry hashtag trends so right when you create an account with later you say what industry you're in obviously i chose fashion and apparel for my instagram and they show the top 50 industry hashtags and which ones are trending for that week if they're increasing or decreasing and honestly hashtags are the way to get your Instagram posts to more people who don't follow you I've never used hashtags but seeing this in such an easy way it's not overwhelming has made it so I want to so many of my friends use them and it helps their Instagrams grow so much I don't know why I've looked past them for so long I think it was just overwhelming and later makes it super easy so later is offering one month of their premium growth plan with my code laney 21 so make sure to check them out. I'll leave the link in the description box so it's super easy for you guys. I can't recommend this platform enough. So for this whole video, I'm going to be following the trends I talked about in one of my later videos. So if you want to just see me talk about these trends, you can check that out. But whenever I talk about trends that are coming out in a certain time, I always like to show you how I would style them because there are so many ways to style these kinds of trends. The first one, this is actually just what I wore today. It's already been getting a lot colder out. One of the trends I talked about was satin. These are a pair of thrifted satin pajama pants actually, and I can't stop wearing them. They're so light and flowy. And yes, they look like pajamas, but not that much. Am I crazy? I don't know. This is also playing into that oversized everything trend. Honestly, that trend plays into almost everything I ever wear now. So we've got the oversized baggy pajama pants, my Adidas Sambas, which I didn't know this, but my brother's a sneakerhead and he said that these are like the next hot shoe. If you wanna get your hands on these, I suggest doing it soon because they'll probably be sold out. And then I just have this Hanes crew neck on that I've had for a million years. And this is my favorite bag ever. Checker print has been trending for a while now. My carpet's checker print. I love checker print. This is from Nicolina Clothing on Instagram. I'll link everything down below from this video. This bag is literally my go-to. I love this super neutral, plain outfit, and then the pop of this bag. This bag honestly completes all of my outfits. Let's get into another outfit with satin. The next outfit, we've got a satin dress on again. Not again. We've got satin again, this time in a dress. This dress is from Lulu's, and then I really love the idea of making it super juxtaposition because satin is such like a feminine, classy fabric, so adding leather pieces to kind of make it a little more dressed down is really fun to me. I paired it with this vintage bomber leather jacket, and then I have these loafers on from Steve Madden. So I had another pair of loafers from Zara, and I just wasn't really thinking when I bought them. I ended up getting like a patent leather shiny one. They were just a little bit too dressed up for me than what I wanted. I feel like the matte leather is a little more dressed down and that's tends to be how I dress more. So I'm happy I picked these ones up instead. They're a lot more comfy too and just higher quality. So I really suggest these ones. I'll have everything linked down below again. And then we have my favorite bag ever. You're gonna be seeing it a lot. This kind of cutout dress is becoming more like basic or like you see it so much that it can get kind of repetitive and boring. So if you have a piece that a lot of other people have and you see them wearing, just try and dress it completely different than you've ever seen before. And it's gonna feel like a totally new piece. 
I don't see a lot of people dressing them like this. They tend to wear it a little more summery just on its own with sandals or something like that, which is still so cute, but it's just a tip. If you're bored of a piece you have, try dressing it a little differently. Okay, the next trend I talked about in my video were suit vests, but I found them in the little boys section for 99 cents and I was like, oh my god. So I bought one because I was like, okay, 99 cents, like that's worth me trying it out and letting you guys know if it's worth it or not. At the end of the day, fashion and trying out trends and styling them is my job so I can justify that. Well, not only did I like it, I loved it. So I went back and bought like five more. I have this gray one now, I have a pinstripe one, I have a black one, I have a lighter gray one. But this was the first one I got. So one of my favorite ways to style it is with matching bottoms. These bottoms are actually from Princess Polly, so it's not really a set. It's close enough, they're just both gray. The suit vest has a little bit of texture in it and the pants don't but that's not something that bothers me. With the boys, little boy suit vest, it's not made for boobs. So I can't even button the top button on this one. All the other ones I can, but honestly, it's kind of cute leaving the top button open and showing a little bit of, I used to call it boobola crack, cleavage. It's not like aggressive or, I don't know, like I don't even think it looks bad. I'm just not used to it because I never do. I always wear like baggier clothes. But I love this look so much. So I paired it with my little loafers from Steve Madden again. And then to kind of dress it down, I just have this fanny pack, leather fanny pack from Granny Melville. And I just threw it over my shoulder like a purse instead of a fanny pack. This outfit is so cute though. Okay, here's the suit vest a little bit more dressed down. Honestly, how I probably would wear it a little bit more often because I tend to dress more casual. I decided to pair it with Another pair of trousers, but this time completely different colors. You don't have to have matching trousers to your suit vest to make this work. Honestly, I kind of like the mismatch a little better. And then to keep it dressed down, I paired it with my Adidas Sambas and my crochet bag. So this is like beginning of fall when it's still like 70 degrees outside. But I wanted to show how it still looks cute with a jacket over top. So being honest, I'd probably throw my leather jacket over top because that just seems most practical to me. I think it could also be really cute, like styling like a full suit with a suit blazer over top, but this is probably how I tend to wear it. I still think this is really cute. You see the vest underneath. Love, love, love this outfit. Places like Aritzia and Urban are already selling these little vests, and Aritzia is selling it for $110. So you guys, check the thrift store. This one is so easy to find. There was like 20 different little boys vests the past three times I went, so just check it out. Next, we have another look for the oversized everything. I've worn these camo pants a few times in my video, so I just wanted to show a different way of styling them. I normally style them with a crew neck or a baggy oversized t-shirt, but this time I decided to put on this button up from Everlane that's honestly such a good fit and has quickly replaced all my other white button ups. These pants are from eBay. They're like just army, actual army pants. I've got my Sambas and then my mini Telfar. Okay, next we have something so many of you guys always ask for is how to style cowboy boots in the fall and winter time. I've shown this outfit before, this white Everlane top with these blue Everlane jeans. And when I'm styling my cowboy boots with jeans, something I look for if I want to have the jeans over the boot is to not have a jean that totally hits the ground. They normally hit like right at my ankle and I think it's the perfect amount to show off a boot. Then the next thing I would say, if you are, want to wear your cowboy boots with longer jeans that go over the boot, either have a cowboy boot that has a really funky toe. I love the cowboy boots with like a square toe or if there's a Jeffrey Campbell pair with like a little silver kind of black on the end of the toe. So the focus is on the toe of the shoe or have it so the upper part of the boot is a different color and you can tell that what you were doing kind of had intention. Here we're having a peak of the suede and the blue so it just it looks like I did it with intention. I really do like the look of just a plain black boot with pants that go over the top but at that point they don't really look like a cowboy boot, they just look like a boot which I'm fine with, but if you want it to be a showcase to wearing a cowboy boot, those are my tips. This is my favorite skirt of all time because it 
can look so summery or so fall-esque and I feel like this outfit really does look fall-y. So this skirt is from Princess Polly. It's like a three-tiered midi skirt, maxi skirt, I don't really know. And it's just the most comfortable thing in the whole world. If you're wearing it in the fall and you're worried about being cold or something, you can put tights on underneath or leggings, whatever. You literally don't see your legs from the boot to the skirt. So I think pairing your cowboy boots with the midi skirt is a really great way to wear them in the fall time. I paired the midi skirt with this thrifted sweater that is my favorite sweater of all time and then my mini toe bar. I love this outfit so much. I feel like a lot of people could feel uncomfortable in it because you really do lose almost all of your figure, but not every outfit has to be about like defining your waist or showing your figure, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I just like to look like a lump of clothes. Honestly, all the time I like to look like a lump of clothes. It's my favorite style. Okay, and here is another way to wear the cowboy boots. I feel like this is a really conventional way to wear like a pair of mom jeans or skinny jeans and tuck them into the boot. To me, this feels a lot more like preppy, like a jockey, but also toned down and less dressed up. Like I feel like I look like I could just be going and working on my farm, which I really like that look and maybe not everyone does. So these jeans are the most flattering jeans in the world on my booty. They're from Lee, they're thrifted. And then you guys know the rest. This is a Nike skateboarding hat for my brother. But I think another really cute thing to add, so I've got two options. This one was what I was initially thinking. I think this makes it super preppy jockey-esque. It's almost a little too preppy for me. Um, I'd probably wear all these pieces together but without the cowboy boots. But if I saw somebody, that's my thing. Sometimes I pull together an outfit and I'm like, this is so cute. But it just doesn't feel like me and at the end of the day I wouldn't really wear it. But I like to show you guys a bunch of different options even if it doesn't mean I would necessarily wear it. Um, let's see this jacket that's a little more funky. Because if I saw somebody on the street wearing this I'd be like, oh my god, they're so cute. That doesn't mean I'd wear it. Yeah, I like the other jacket a little bit more with this outfit just because it's like longer and covers the boots a bit. Okay, next. <laughs> okay, the next trend I talked about was the oversized cardigan. This one's really not that oversized, but it's just a bigger, like thicker, chunkier cardigan. I decided to pair it with, again, a more all baggy look. So these jeans are the brand Route 66. They're little boys jeans that I got from the thrift store and they're my favorite ever. Like, I love this super baggy fit. I'm wearing them with my Steve Madden loafers and then to kind of dress it down a bit more and also mix this like kind of preppy with the cardigan with a little bit more of a toned down style, I decided to add my trucker hat from eBay and then my crochet bag from Nicolina Clothing. And I really like this outfit. I had more outfits that I was going to show, but I was trying them on and they just kind of weren't really doing anything for me. If you guys want to see more outfits, make sure to follow my Instagram. I've been posting a lot of like swipe through posts of just mirror fits for outfit inspo. I feel like that's a great way to get quick outfits to you guys. I can tag everything and you can save them for later and see them a lot easier than looking back at a YouTube video. Also, this is kind of why I haven't been doing 50 outfits videos because whenever I do them, the last like 10 outfits I end up hating, but I just have to get out 50 outfits because that's what I'm calling the video. I like just showing the best of the best, the best of the best. Thank you again to Later for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out the link in the description box or use my discount code. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what fall trends you're looking forward to in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in a few days. I love you so much. Bye.